Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. Today we're going to talk about iterating through list. Now if we want to print each object contained in a list Whoa! Hello. Anyway, ignore that. I'm updating my system. And I don't feel like restarting the video. So anyway, if we want to iterate through um, list, which means we want to grab each object in a list, um, we need to use something called a for loop. Now we briefly looked at for loops in um, strings. And when I mean briefly, I showed you how, how it's done. I didn't really explain what was going on. So to do that, let's just look at it in a string and explain what's going on. Then I'll explain it in a list, what a for loop is and how it works. So I'm gonna create a uh, string here and we're gonna our string is going to be represented by the variable a, and we're going to say Python. All right, that's our string. Now, for a for loop, we got to um, put four, which indicates to Python that we want to loop through our sequence. So, for loops work on sequences, and a uh, string is a sequence. So, first things first, we got to put four. So it says, all right, for Basically, the way to look at it is for every um, character in a string, we want it to do something. All right. Um, then we're going to give it a variable. And this is a temporary variable. It can be anything you want. So I'm going to say uh, um, var. All right. That's going to be our temporary variable is var. Then we're going to say in. So for is for every character in the um, string. Var is going to represent each one of these characters. Okay, in is going to say for everything in the object or sequence, I should say, sequence, we want to do something. So we need to put a sequence. So in A, so we're going to put A, and then we're going to use colon colon is a code block. It indicates the beginning of a code block, all right? So let's go through this one more time so you understand what's going on. For, so we're basically saying we want a for loop. We want to loop through each um, character in the string. The var is going to represent each character in the string. And then we're going to say, in is going to say for each character in A. So each character in the variable A, which is a string object, we want to do something. And then the colon says this is um, a beginning of a code block. Then I'm going to hit return. And then I'm going to hit two spaces. And then we're going to give it what we wanted to do for each character in this string. Well, I wanted to print each character in var. Or print each character var. And like I said before, var represents each character in the string here. Then I hit return, I'm gonna hit return one more time, and we get Python. And what it did was print each character on a new line. So the for loop goes through and sees P, prints it. Then it starts a new line. Sees Y, prints it, starts a new line. Sees T, prints it, sees a new line. H, prints it, sees a new line, and so on. Alright? So that's how the for loop works in Python with strings. Now, let's take a look at what it does with list. And this is one of the reasons why I really like Python is a lot of the um, structure of Python does not change. So we see with um, for loop and strings, it prints out each character. Now with a list, it's gonna do the same thing, but it's gonna print out each object. So if we have a list full of uh, strings it's just going to print the string itself so let's take a look at that b equals and we're going to create a list and we're going to say we no nope, uh string we are uh learning python and i'm going to close out that list so what we got is four string objects and each one, or we got one list object and four string objects contained in the list. So we got we are learning Python. All right, I hit return. 
And if I call B, we see that's what it indicates, or that's what B represents. Now we're gonna we want to loop through each one, so it prints on a new line. So to do that, we do four. So we want to loop through each object in the in the list. Um, I'll use a different variable this time. We'll do um, a object in, and then this time we're gonna use B because B represents this list. So for each object in the list object B, we want to do something. And then don't forget your colon, that is a must. That says, hey, this is a new um, code block, which this is a code block right here. We're gonna do something. <clears throat> All right, so I hit return, and I hit two, sp two spaces, because we, we have to indent when we're in a code block. And I'm going to say print, and then I'm going to say object, our, tempo, our temporary variable here. I'm going to print that. Object represents each object in this list. I'm going to hit return, hit return one more time, and we get we are learning Python, um, each object on a new line. So that's the for loop and iterating in Python. It's not that hard. Um, let's take one more look at this. Um, we're going to do a list of numbers this time. So I'm going to clear my screen. And this time we're going to do C is equal to uh, a list of numbers. So we're going to do C is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Hit return. And then we're going to do our for loop. So for num in C, two spaces. And don't forget your colon. Right here's your colon. Don't, and then two spaces here. And then we're going to say print uh, da, 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 num. All right. Hit return. Hit return. And then we get we get print our num. We could also do the same thing and make something else happen other than just print. So let's try something new. Let's do um, for num in C, colon, two spaces, print, and we're going to do num times two, hit return, hit return, and then we get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. So what happened there? Well, two times one is two. 2 times 4 is, f 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 8, or 2 times 4 is 8, and so on. So all we did was multiply our numbers by that. So you can do a lot of things with the for loop, and um, it's not just limited to printing. That's why I showed you this. Um, so, if you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.